Today we are wandering around one of the two cemeteries in the village of Sterlingville, one of the five lost villages on the Fort Drum Army installation. The cemetery known as Savage Varley is also known as the Sterlingville Catholic Cemetery. This graveyard used to be attached to the Catholic Church which was directly next to it before that church was relocated into across the river and into the village proper. You'll often see this also referred to as St. Mary's Cemetery in various local histories. I hope you enjoy wandering around this peaceful cemetery with me today. Stay tuned for more information on the, how to look up each stone in our cemetery and upcoming videos on Sterlingville. Thanks everyone.
Hi everyone, me again. I just wanted to talk about as we round this magnificent maple tree, uh, what's going on with the cemetery stone, the headstone that's buried in the tree now. Uh, I got information from one of our Fort Drum foresters and we see this quite often in some of our areas that as uh, a tree grows, items can be grown into that tree. And it leads to a lot of interesting questions. If an item grows into the tree, does it grow up? Does it get buried? What really happens here? And I just want to provide to you some information from our forester, Don Mahan. As a tree grows, it puts on height only through the stem tip called the leader buds and through the branch tips called the lateral buds. Although the rest of the tree does not produce any vertical height, it does add another layer of wood fiber around its stem and branches, thus increasing the overall diameter of the tree each year. And they call these growth rings. If there is no external physical obstructions, the stem will grow evenly into a natural round shape. However, if there is an object in the way, the tree diameter will continue to grow around it, eventually engulfing the entirety of the object, depending on its size. And that's what's happening here in this video. As time goes on, even more of the gravestone will be covered up by the growing tree. I'll put a link in the description down below for a very interesting article about uh, that many probably have heard of about the Civil War soldier who leaned his musket up against the tree. Uh, I just think it's a very interesting uh, natural phenomenon. I hope you found it interesting too. Back to our tour. Hi everyone, I wanted just to remind you again how to get to the cemetery information. You can go to fortdrum.isportsman.net, come over to the tab that says Outreach and Special Events, and go down to Cemetery Visits. From here, you can go down to... Today we're going to Savage Varley Cemetery, also known as Sterling Catholic or St. Mary Cemetery, and click on this information. This will bring up the PDF where you can search for first or last name or any other information that you may have. 
Again, I recommend not printing the entirety of this PDF unless you need the entirety for your records. If you would like it just for uh, a stone or two, I would print just those records. It does sometimes take a minute to come up, but all the stones in the set, this cemetery are recorded this way. So each have a unique uh, marker number that you can, if you need to contact us for any reason, you can reference that marker number and we can look it up in our records. Or if you have additional information, uh, like pictures or obituaries or family information you want to be included here. We're looking to add more pictures and add more information. We're changing up how, how we've recorded these to include that extra information. I hope this helps you find what you're looking for when you're looking through the cemetery files. Thank you everyone for joining me going through Savage Barley Cemetery, one of two cemeteries in the village of Sterlingville, one of the lost villages on the Fortron military installation. Stay tuned. If you're interested in Sterlingville, we have a few more videos coming up after this one about the village, uh, the additional cemetery gates, and as well as a few interesting videos on some of our more elusive characters. Have a good day, everyone.